Hi, Tara here again. Um, so following up on the the heated high flow devices and the high flow nasal cannula with the, re with the non rebreather, I wanted to talk a little bit about mobilization for the patients too. So these patients are typically still your med surge patients or maybe even your ICU patients that are still able to move a little bit and um, are still able to participate mentally with you. Um, we're having, you know, try and get them up to the chair if they can. If they're in the bed, we're asking them to, to move around a lot so they can lie on their side, they can prone. Um, we're wanting them to do, that, to do that at least every four hours. So spending about four hours in the prone position or at least on the side. A lot of these patients, if you explain it to them, will do that on their own. Um, otherwise, we can remind them if they're a little weaker, you may need to help them. So again, just remember you can use the heated high flow devices with the non rebreather over, um, and they can kind of intermittently do that as they eat, drink, and do other nursing care. Um, also, just a reminder on the heated high flow devices, you want to run it no higher than 30 liters, so on the flow piece. Of course, you can go up to your 100% on the FiO2 piece, um, but just that, that 30 liters is kind of the highest for the aerosolization to the room. Um, so if you have a patient that can participate, um, of course, you're gonna lower, lower the bed for them, and then if they can scooch over themselves and help to prone themselves, that's fine. Otherwise, you can ask an assistant. Um, just to keep in mind, of course, you're gonna have um, IVs and lines that you wanna that you want to remind them about, especially if they're doing some of it themselves, to either call when they need help with that or to be aware of them themselves. Um, so you can just have the patient, I'm gonna have you, all righty, sir, I'm gonna have you scooch to this side of the bed towards me. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take the pillow. Can you roll over on to your left side? You can use that handrail there too. Good, and then go ahead and bring your arm over. You can always give them an extra pillow um, if they're gonna kinda lay on their side so that they're almost, they can be almost prone even on their side. They can roll a little more. Um, and then as they're ready, you can take them full prone. Oops. Thank you. Caitlin's gonna help. And you can even um, make a figure for kind of a bring that leg, I'm sorry, this one, up towards bend your knee and bring your, yeah, yeah. And whatever's comfortable for this arm for them. If they need this arm up, that's totally fine. If they're not with it as much and you're not sure, either position is okay. Just make sure you're paying attention um, to your lines and their joints, of course, patient history if they have any joint issues. 